Good morning B fam. So I'm starting the vlog a little bit later on in the day. It's currently 12 o'clock. Everyone's awake. We've had a little bit of a lie-in today. Well the the boys have had a little bit of a lie-in. Yeah, do you want to hold that camera down? Yes. Logan's just asking me to take the tag off his new shorts that I bought him from Primark. Um so I've been awake since eight, me and Khaleesi, and I took the, uh, Khaleesi for another little shower um, just because of it being so hot yesterday, she was a little bit sweaty. Khaleesi is currently asleep, she's just having a morning nap, so normally she wakes up, has a bottle, she's awake for about two hours and then about 12-ish, she'll have a little nap and then she'll wake up. The gas has run out, so I think the first thing we might do is probably look for a Kala or a Dixon gas, where somewhere where we can buy a gas bottle for the van. We have got the barbecue, so it's fine. We've got the, the gas for the barbecue, so that's fine. But yeah, I don't know whether I want to buy a gas bottle for the van, but that's lasted us since last year. I think we've only had one bottle, haven't we? I don't think we've bought a refill yet for the van, have we? No. Yeah, I think that bottle's lasted us a year. I could be wrong. So it's currently Friday and a lot of the camper vans have left as well because it's the weekend. So I think we might be getting like a couple of new people in. The kids' and friends leaving today as well, she said. So, but with it being the weekend, you should see more kids around here. So that'll be nice for the children. Okay, because we just finished washing the dishes and Chrissy's bottle. Um, also, one good thing is, this is where the this is where you wash your dishes. There's a door here. You go for here. And you got lots of different sinks. So Khaleesi's just having some toast and a little blanket outside the camper van, and then I am just cooking breakfast. So we're having bacon. Well. It's not breakfast to be honest, it's 12 o'clock so it's brunch. So we're having a bacon and egg sandwiches. We're cooking it out here with the barbecue and that gas because the gas has run out in there. So the park is just over there, it's a big sand park for the younger ones. Joanne's just reading a book, Sean was on his phone a second ago. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another Batista family vlog. I don't know if Stephanie's already introduced them on but I thought I'd just say hello to everybody. Um, I'm currently cooking breakfast for the fam. Um, Stephanie has already done the toast and stuff. She's on egg patrol. Um, I'm doing bacon. Just cannot wake up and not have an egg and bacon sandwich. Just the best. Um, the weather is absolutely stunning today guys. Beautiful as ever. Um, I don't know if I've had much time to actually introduce the site that much, but I'm just going to say a few things in case I have forgot. We are right located next to a water supply here. Obviously, we've got electric down there. I think we've already showed that. And um, we've just already put down tents. So the tents are all put down. And we're going to have breakfast and head off on another adventure around Cornwall. So we're going to have some breakfast, get ourselves ready, and then we'll probably catch you guys up on either on the road or maybe it's just as we're starting to leave. Um, but there's so many beautiful places to visit in Cornwall. I'm not sure if I'll get them all done on my list. Um, we've got loads of things to, like dotted around that we want to do. We may have to come back to do a second part, but if we don't come back to do a second part, we'll probably do it all on this trip on the southwest side of our series. But anyways, food looking great. Um, Stephanie's getting Khaleesi ready and herself ready. Um, and yeah, we'll catch you guys up in a moment. There you go, Sean, darling. You're very welcome. It's time we get in the van, darling. It's time we go now. Do you have fun? It's a nice little park, this, isn't it? So there's actually a few pictures just up the park. That would be such a good pitch to get for the kids. Um, Felicity would love that when she gets a little bit older. But yeah, it's a good park, isn't it, Logan? You're brilliant. It's a lovely warm day, isn't it? I love your cap, Logan. It really suits you. So you got this from Land's End. Also, the children are a little bit sunburnt. We, yeah, two seconds on. So the sun cream that I used for the children that I bought for the children doesn't seem that very good because they put it on, but they still somehow managed to catch the sun. So I'm going to use this one. This is not for kids, but it's for adults. But 
honestly Sean swears by this he gets this every year and it protects him really well so I'm gonna use this one on Khaleesi and the boys so we have left the campsite and we have turned up to a place called Wheel Courts and it is an old tin mining house it's got like an um, an old engine in there I think still that you can go and see this includes the iconic and much photographed toner shaft engine house guys mm. so the only one in Cornwall interesting apparently there's a nice little walk along the beach as well a little bit further along so it's a three quarter mile walk so it's only like a 30 minute walk it's not too far actually yeah but the view the yeah. cliffs absolutely stunning i was reading some of the reviews online i was saying the, the beaches are really nice down there but i don't know if we'll go up this one because i've got a few saved on my list to do today yeah so we'll see if it's nice we'll go but if not we'll just come and see the mountain house and have a little walk around here oh we're going other wildlife on the cliffs Snakes around, guys. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, peregrine falcons as well. So, you know, all that sort of stuff, which we like to see, but we're not like big enthusiasts about all. But so, this dates from 1692. Wow. It's interesting. And there's uh, all the old workers who used to work down here back in the days when it was a big functional thing. A new home for a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride A new man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it such a great place to explore and visit guys the boys are having so much fun just running around in and out of the ruins do you like it Khaleesi? but i'm so impressed with the view and the color of the sea honestly beautiful color blues i'll turn you around and show you what i'm looking at look at this look at the color of that sea don't know if the camera's doing it justice. This beautiful turquoise blue and the waves. Look at the power of the waves. They're huge. I think the boys think we're in some sort of medieval movie. <laughs> They're shouting sacrifice, sacrifice. <laughs> but we're having a little walk down this cute little pathway. Hi, Khaleesi. You saying hi? I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach for the sky As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky I found my way, I found my way I was in the dark against it all But made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way Times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way Cause I found my way Cause I found my way So now we have came to a place called God Revy It is part of the National Car parking is just behind me, as you can see the van there. And oh my goodness, guys, this beach looks absolutely stunning! So, we've got the buckets and spades for the children, we've brought the kite because it's windy, as you guys can probably won't be able to hear me. And we've got some windsurfers out on sea. This is such a beautiful beach, Cornwall, in my opinion, has the most beautiful beaches in the UK. Well, to get access to the beach, we've got to cross this little river here that's coming down from the valley further up there. Just a little access point that you have to take to get to it. There's a huge lighthouse up there as well, which looks really cool. Um, so we're going to go and have a little visit of that. Um, but the boys are so excited to go play with their buckets and spades.
out of the countryside here and like entering into the sea. It's like so nice how they're both more connected. You could probably paddle board down here or kayak, couldn't you Stephanie? I don't know if you can hear us, but you could. They're all walking that way, I'm walking along the river edge because I think this looks so cool and scenic. It looks like we won't be swimming the day because there's too, too many strong currents. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags fun, Caleb. <laughs> So we're just having a little picnic We've got sausage rolls Jan, you see what we want darling? How's your book going? Good Good? Enjoying it? Yeah, very good it's like five beach holiday vibes, so it's like very fitting for this holiday. Yeah. We've also got some mixed nuts as well, and then some pie, some cheese. A new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've So we just made our way over, up onto the rocks, because all the tides went out. And we're just having a little bite to eat with a beautiful view of a lovely scenic lighthouse just behind me over there. We're all just sitting down here, on this little rock verge here. Uh, there's a few people doing a spot the fishing over there. So the waves must be about 20 foot high or something, because they're huge. got the barbecue on and we're having some chicken skewers for tonight's tea the children are at the park so this is what we're having for tonight's tea I'm just going to do some lettuce and some tomatoes for everyone now okay guys it's late we've been back for about an hour uh, probably about two hours from now let's say um, it's all dark outside we were going to record our barbecue and stuff but it was just a bit too tight to pick up the camera so we had a barbecue and everyone's upstairs um obviously upstairs i feel like it's a house because it does feel like a house when they're up on the roof um they're all up on the ladders um, on the rooftop tents um so they're all like getting themselves in their pajamas getting themselves settled down for the night it's been an amazing day today for us um a little bit of pity about the wind the wind was really horrendous throughout today's video um so i do apologize about that if that has affected today's video i'm not too sure if it has or it hasn't um we've all caught the sun just nicely we've all had sun block on as well um but i've caught across my nose because it must have just wore off there 
and a little bit on the back of my neck. Oh, I see a little bit. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Could be the thumbnail of today's video. Who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, and anyways, um, it's been mega warm down here. The sea has been really warm as well. Um, I think it was yesterday, Stephanie and Logan and Kayla went for a bit of a paddle. And they said the water was like so warm, um, which is not none of a surprise. We're like right opposite France at the minute, so um, which I can't wait to go and do, go and do France. Um, I think time to move on to another country soon. I'll be saying that. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, I've had a really fab day the day. We hope you guys have had a good day hanging out with us today. If I haven't said this in a long time, um, if you want to hit a like on the video, we do appreciate it. Everybody who likes the videos, um, drop a comment in the comment section if you want to ask us a question. Um, about Cornwall or about our next family adventures where we're going next and things um, and yeah if it's your first time watching hit subscribe subscribe to the Batista family vlogs um, busy busy day tomorrow and the next coming days to come we are hoping to take off everything on our list that we have got on our list to do in Cornwall and it's not looking like we are going to be able to do it but good job we can come back and do it all over again as um, another campsite that we've got to do down here but it's not actually in the Cornwall area it's in the Devon area so we will come back and do that as well um, but yeah I'm loving the southwest of England it's just so beautiful um, the beaches are just absolutely amazing turquoise blue you just couldn't ask for anything else better um, and I know that they rated some of the best beaches in the whole of the UK in Cornwall so yeah I'm really loving my, my Cornwall holiday and um, also just buying some of the local things as well um, the Cornish pasties and stuff and then the Cornish cider and stuff like that and um, I did buy some wine um, mead wine it was like 16.5% I've not drank any of it yet but they suggest that you can have it warm or you can have it like with ice depending on the weather but it's a Cornish wine that's made in Cornwall I didn't know Corn like the Cornish people made wine as well but um, one thing I have noticed about their alcoholic drinks is that the percentage rate is right, right really high like 6.8 for a flipping cider like you don't get that on a strong bow you get like a 4% cider don't you so like the cider is really strong down here and then the wine of course like the mead wine 16.5 like in the shops you don't usually get a higher than 14% maybe it's 14.5 at the most I've had like a 14.5 wine but um, but yeah I was quite surprised like what they put in that to make that that's so strong <laughs> they say about that oh it's like the brewing method um, with yeast and stuff um, because I have made wine in the past I don't know if anybody has done it but I have made wine in the past um, and it depends how much yeast and sugar you put in apparently and how strong it gets but anyways I'm no expert but yeah and anyways I've probably talked for about yeah five minutes for Four, four thirty. I've talked for four minutes and thirty seconds. So I don't know if all this is going to go in, but anyways, an end of vlog, guys. A big thank you to all of you who have watched today's video. Give the video a big like, subscribe, drop a comment in the comment section. We'll catch you guys all in the next one. As always, be yourself, guys. Be different. Good night.